you will learn a whole lot of shit. Instead of believing the surface of what they've been passed down to you. Correct. Because after I sat there and I was like, dog. Yes. So you really over here telling bitches that I really wish I could, I really wish I could text them bitches back and tell them <laughs> he's a fag, a real one. <laughs> <clears throat> My God today. A real one. Well, you know, the gays be having problems sometimes with being gay. Yeah. Oh, who is that, Craig? See, now you're not finna have this this boy trying to jump on me in the street now. Cause I'm a woman. Well, girl, the girl, the fag community and I will sent not this. Be drug in the street by this man. Girl, the fag community sent this. <laughs> what was his post? The popular hot ass gossipers. What was his post, Craig? Girl, Mo hit that. I have given my life back to Jesus Christ. And have made the decision to let go of homosexual lifestyle and cease dealing with men in general. God is the greatest. What's the next one? Read carefully. I chose to leave the lifestyle for these reasons. Not reasons, but reason. I was having a very difficult time with lust for men and masturbating. Feeding my flesh every day for years. No man or trade broke my heart. No, I don't think being gay, happy, condemns you. The acts of two men or two women sleeping around does. Doing orgies, lusting after people and satisfying your flesh with ultimately, will ultimately lead you to hell. As will greed, pride, gossiping, being unforgiving, gluttony, etc. Now, whether you want to believe it or not, Heaven and hell is very real. He should have said are. Heaven and hell are. That's plural. Okay. Are real. And God doesn't send you to hell. Your flesh does. That's so please stop the narrative. Go ahead. Uh huh. And then he says, I'm not heartbroken over a trade or I couldn't find a man. It's very tiring and confusion of the mind. People spew lies and hate. I'm choosing to give my life to God over my flesh. Mm -hmm. I walked away healthy, so he doesn't have the AIDS. Praise him. And with a clear mind, I want to help others if you are willing to help yourself. Simple. So now it sounds like he's a prophetess. <laughs> oh, 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 he's a Bynum now. A Bynum. As in Juanita. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the thing. <clears throat> The reason I had asked you earlier about do you think um, being gay is wrong because I knew we were going to come up on this story. I don't think being gay puts us on the wrong, or queer, puts us on the wrong side with God. I don't believe that. I believe that we have to separate what we've been taught to believe about religion, about sexuality, whatever, from what we know to be true for ourselves because a lot of this stuff, a lot of this ideology has been passed down to us. Like I said to you earlier, my grandmother wasn't homophobic. My grandmother taught me to pray. But had she been a woman that was homophobic, mm -hmm. I would have adopted some of those beliefs. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what happens with a lot of us. We, A lot of us come into this community so broken. And the way that I describe it in my second book, One Thing for Certain, Two Things for Sure. That bitch going to plug that book. You hear me? You better know it. <laughs> because it, it, there's some healing properties there. Mm -hmm. You think CMOS got healing properties, so do them books. Hi, y'all the Come on now. Ha. But the way that I describe it in the book is that we're in part a community of broken hearts and souls trying to have relationships with other broken hearts and souls. Because some of us take the time to heal those traumas mm -hmm. and others do not. I believe that there are so many queer people, gay, bisexual, trans, whatever, who are moving throughout the community, going to gay pride events, going to bulldogs, going to wherever they're going, but they still haven't, they, st <laughs> they still haven't given themselves permission to be who they are. You need to send that over there to Mo so we can get that up here. That's Caitlin. <laughs> uh, so I think that, you know, so many of us move through the community. Girl, turn her off. This is definitely internalized. For sure. Homophobia and transphobia. She, 
That's that, that's how hated that bitch got finest. up and dragged to, 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 to terrorize the drag for sure. But I think that so many of us move through this community without really doing the work of trying to heal our own trauma. And then we get into these situationships or relationships or whatever you want to call them without having done your work. Craig, I do feel like that religion, not the, not not a relationship, but a religion Correct. has definitely warped and destroyed the minds of people. Especially black people. It, it, listen, again, black people are, are most definitely, sometimes I stand back and I just be like, and that doesn't mean that I don't believe in God. I don't because I believe I, believe, I, I in believe in God wholeheartedly. Yeah. I pray I, every night, not just pray. I have a relationship Correct. With, with the with 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 God. Correct. I have a relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A full on relationship mm -hmm. with God, but I don't have no relationship with religion. Right. And definitely no old time when they be saying, "Let's bring back that old time religion." Nah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Hell the fuck now. Nah. nah, I'm mm -hmm. okay. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think with that gentleman right there, I think that that's something that has been that he's been struggling with. It's been terrorizing him for a while. Yeah, yeah. He's been he's he's felt you know incomplete. Um, and I think that in 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 his convergence, uh, I would call it celibacy. You can abstain, gays, lesbians. You can sub abstain, not sustain. You can abstain from being having sex with the same sex, but that doesn't change who you are. It doesn't change your biology because sexuality is instinctive. Mm -hmm. It's how we're wired. Mm -hmm. It's not a choice, it's not a decision. Sexuality is instinctive. You didn't choose to be black. I didn't choose to be black. You didn't choose to be five. How tall are you? Five something. You didn't choose to be that. I didn't choose my height. I didn't choose my eye color. You did choose I chose hair this color. hair. You did. I chose this. I chose this lipstick. Correct, but you don't choose I DNA. Chose this blush. You don't choose DNA. And so I think that you can abstain, Donnie McClurkin. And here's the thing: I want to say that I want to talk about this. One eight I want to. <laughs> sure, let's see you though. I want to. <laughs> Ricky Diller, but I don't, I don't think he's really abstaining though. Mm. Hezekiah. No. <sighs> Don't do that. Don't you do that. <clears throat> Don't you dare say Kirk Franklin. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I, did, I didn't. Don't you dare say Kirk Franklin. I, I didn't. I said Kirk. Don't you dare say Kirk Franklin. I was going to say Kerfuffle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you do that. You can abstain. But the feelings don't go anywhere. Girl, you threw me off because I was going to say something, girl. <laughs> you can abstain, T. Don't. Because I remember him having a, a heavy porn addiction. Who? Oh. Kurt. Oh, see, I didn't say it. He had a heavy porn addiction. I watched it. He was talking about how he was so. No, the question is what porn was he watching? What kind of point? What? Please call this for a while. I had to get ready to go, y'all. I had to be. <laughs> You're not, gonna, you're not gonna finish your point, right? You just left it. You just left off the a cliffhanger. <laughs> really bad. Really bad. You're not gonna. Really you're not gonna. You're not gonna. Are you gonna finish your point? Really bad. You just uh, gonna leave all the cliffhanger. Hello. Uh, hello. Ma'am. Hello, ma'am. You ma were saying something about a porn addiction. <laughs> 